thousands of companies which take money from Indian banks but just don't pay back even if they have the capacity to do so or the so-called willful defaulters. They have been the curse of the Indian banking sector for many, many years, contributing to huge amount of NPS. And evidently, the patience is running out from uh, banks. Just uh, let's take a look at State Bank of India, the largest lender. There has been a massive clampdown on such companies. The SBA has classified some 657 companies in last two years in the willful defaulter list. After finding that these companies have been defaulting on their loans, not because of financial constraints, but deliberately uh, I mean, by diverting funds or uh, you know, uh, just uh, not making payments even if they have the capacity to do so. Which this uh, effectively means that these so-called willful defaulters won't be able to access loans from any other uh, banks or financial institutions until uh, they come out of this list. Now, what is the reason for uh, the state bank uh, to do so? There has been a massive rise in the bad loan levels from corporate segment in state bank's books. Let's, uh, let's just take a look at the chronic debt cases, NPA cases in state bank. It's around 20,000 crore now. With, these are assets where the uh, chances of recovery is pretty less and the bank is struggling to you know, recover this amount and it's making all efforts including, uh, you know, actively uh, publicizing the uh, details, including the photos of willful uh, defaulters, the promoters of such companies, and bidding uh, in auctions of uh, bad debts uh, to prevent any attempts of cartelization.